It wouldn't have found it. If only everyone was this happy to see the interceptors. Oh, then big thumbs up. Unfortunately for them, life isn't always like that. Sometimes they even get called rude names. I don't think there's one swear word that exists that I've never that I haven't been called. You've been a prick. No, not being a prick. No, I thought you'd been a prick. I've had my um, parentage questioned, my sexuality questioned. I hate the What's all this for? You put your ass on. I can't believe it. My levels of hair questioned. My uh, physique questioned. You name it. People have had a go. And all you do is treat it like water off a duck's back and just laugh back at them and attempt to shut them up. Either shut them up or wind them up even more. Get the run on, man. You arrogant. Flat blasted. Uh-huh. Oh, you talk. Yeah, all the best, mate. It's the wee small hours of the morning, and interceptor Lee Wilson is out and about with PC Michael Prosser, an officer from another unit who's spending a couple of shifts with Lee to get a taste of what life as an interceptor is really like. I've got the opportunity to have a partner with me tonight, uh, Mike, who's from Instant Response Team, and he wants to come out and um, have a look at it, exactly what the claim during specialist operation unit's all about and, and it's an opportunity for me to have another, another crewmate to assist me with stopping vehicles. Luckily I've been crewed with Lee and we'll see what happens tonight. Fitness fanatic Lee's dream car is a classic Ferrari 355, though you don't see a lot of those in Stockton. Instead, it's a far less glamorous Citroen Picasso that catches his eye. Initially cruising along, the driver puts pedal to metal once he spots the cop car. Even when Lee sticks on the blues, they don't have much of an effect on the Citroen speed. LZ, LZ, got a vehicle failed to stop. But once Lee gets up close, vehicle pulling over, the driver changes his mind. Do you want to get up and grab the drive, mate? <laughs> Why did you speed off there? I didn't speed off, mate. You did, you put your foot yeah. down there, fella. So I don't need to do that for. Hey, I don't know you tell me. Use your hands. Use your hands. Right, calm yourself down calm now. Calm, mate. I'm detaining you, yeah? all right, until I establish detaining. exactly what's going on. Detaining. Come over here. The driver is extremely confrontational and seems keen to have a lively discussion with Lee. Relax. No, you relax. relax. Stop tensing up. Relax. You are tensing up. Calm down. You need to calm down. You calm down. Have you got anything on your shoulder? Calm down. Right. Have you got anything on your shoulder? Right. You're for the purpose of the circle. Yeah. Right. So you can establish if that beetle was stolen or not. So what? All right. Quite agitated, right? You are. And you're tensing up. So you need to chill out. Mate, you're hurting me. All right. Well, relax then. Relax then. I'm relaxed. There you go. There you go. That's all I want. What's your name? Imran Mohammed. Imran. Come round here. Sit in the car, Imran. That's all you got to do. There was no need to be cheeky in the way you were going on there. As they put the man in the back of the cop car, his phone rings, and Lee wants him to turn it off. Here's your phone. Get off your phone. Get off me. I'm not going to right. the phone. You. It's in my pocket. Right. You take your bag out. Stop Just calm handle. down. Stop my hand on me. Calm down, right? Just Stop calm down. Stop my hand on me. Don't calm down. You've got to get past. Stop my hand on me. Who can I do that? You'll be fine. You relax. You don't calm down. Come on, you do it. And you watch what happens. Really? My sister will stick his foot right up your... Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, really? Huh? It's in my pocket. This pocket is it in? No. Resisting. No. Stop, no, you're resisting. You need to relax. Why did you want me to get your phone? Because you need to relax. That's why. Come here. You're hurting me. Get out. You're cheating. <laughs> ah! Relax. Hurting me. Shut my back your cat. Yeah. Cheeky bastard. I tell you, you haven't got many words yeah. here that are nice. Because you're a cheeky oh, right. bastard. That's what you're at. I think you're more the cheeky yeah. one. You will. You keep lying for it. You yeah. cheeky bastard. Get in there. Eh? Huh? See what I mean? You're doing it again. You cheeky bastard. You're some of my face. While his colleagues watch the motorist, Lee takes a quick breather and calls for a van to take him in. This male's been uh, very agitated, very aggressive, tensing up. He's been handcuffed. He's trying to prevent us from getting his phone out of his pocket, so he's had to be restrained in the back of the police vehicle. Given the man's behaviour, Lee suspects he's under the influence of something, and he needs to find out what. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a breathalyzer with him. Yeah. Because uh, there's certainly something not right there, like. 
I strongly suspect that he's under the influence of drugs. So he's going to be arrested under Section 4 of the Road Traffic Act and fit to drink or drugs. So we'll go and breathalyse him. If he hasn't drank anything, he's got nothing to be afraid of, has he? Whether or not he's afraid of the breathalyzer, this fella definitely doesn't want to blow into it. Right. I require you to provide me with special and breath by means of an approved device. You I have? I'm refusing to listen to you. Have you had any mouthwash? Have you had any chewing gum? Have you? Right. Refusing. All you have to do refusing. is you need to see if somebody will breathe and steadily into that same stuff. Refusing. All right? Refusing. I refuse to warn you that refusing. failure to provide, I'm refusing. you'll be arrested I'm for failure to provide. All right? So I if you are failing to provide, you will be arrested for failure to provide. Do you understand me? Are you refusing? Obviously I'm refusing. Are you dead? Right. Are you dead? You don't have to say anything. Are you, you dead? Have you don't have to say. If you do not mention when questioned, something which you later write, you can't. You're my manual, mate. You're under arrest for failure. You're my manual, mate. 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 You're they need to re-handcuff him before putting him in the cage. Right, the cuffs are going on the back. Yeah, let's put them on. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No? Yeah. Go on then, let's swap over. You're like a little child. You're predictable, you're going on the floor. All right, so we can sort these cuffs out. Relax, relax. Go on the front, on your front. That's it, right. Listen, it's the safest place, right? Huh? Well, if it's the safest place for me, it is. it's going to be the safest place for you one day, innit? Ah, you got it. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Go on. Yeah. Go on. I'm behind. 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 With the bloke continuing to resist, he's proving tricky to handcuff. After three, you have to stand up. One, two, three. It's almost as difficult as getting him to stop giving it the verbals. Watch your head, watch your head. As the suspect heads off to stop to Nick, sniffer dog Gunner has a route round his motor. He's trained to find weapons, drugs and cash, but only uncovers one of the three along with some mobile phones. Quite a hefty amount of cash. One of the phones never stopped ringing the whole time. No, let's just leave it. Lee and Michael are now heading back to the Nick to question the man and hopefully breathalyse him. That's his phone going again. Uh, very busy phone, that. Just builds up a picture for me. Quite clearly, he's, uh, he's up to no good. And the best place for him is police custody for us to establish all the facts in relation to drug and drink driving, etc. Come on then, let's go. His trip to the cells also gives the man a chance to bring some sunshine to even more members of Cleveland's finest. I'm stood where I'm stood. You can do whatever you need to do. Is that right, huh? And do what? What? Yeah. I'm ready to go to the cell. He's not in charge. Because he's out in charge. So. Oh, watch. I'm going to take off. He's a threat to his gun. He's threatening the violence. Again. So he's back to where he was now. Yeah. I will do so, right. So, we take him down with himself. You're just being a bully. Right. He's under the influence of something. You're just being a bully, man. Um, Half this is just the way that he is. He's got some serious problems. As he's also not cooperating with the custody sergeant, the man's put in a cell to cool off. But he needs to be breath tested quickly, so 15 minutes later, they try to get him out of the cell and onto the breathalyzer. The bat's on the quite well, and he's been punching and kicking the door, and he's been getting the floors on, so they're about to get him on to go, out to go through the drink draft procedure. So let's see what happens there. There you go. Doesn't want to come out. As his colleagues couldn't persuade the suspect to come out, Lee decides to have a go himself. Listen, I'm going to say it again. Right. Have you, in the last 20 minutes, don't talk. You've just heard me talk to you. That's why you're reacting the way that you are. Right. I'll ask you again. I warn you that, again, that failed provider, these specimens will render you like for prosecution. Do you know we provide two specimens of breath for analysis? You're such a... Because of your aggressive demeanour, that's a failure to provide, all right. Hey, ma'am, if you want to provide, go to the back of the cell so we can put the handcuffs back on. 
Despite several attempts, the man refused to take a breath test, just as he did at the roadside. It also turned out that he gave a false name to Lee when he was first arrested. He was later found guilty of failing to provide a specimen of breath, obstructing the police and failing to stop for the police. He was given a 12-month community order, disqualified from driving for two years and fined £710, including costs. Lee's well versed in dealing with tricky customers, but this one he's particularly glad to see the back of. As far as I'm concerned, a violent, unpredictable individual is taken off the road. I've earned my money tonight. Coming up, what else has he crashed into? A drunk driver leaves a trail of destruction. Sounds like he's been on a crash at home. He's had a crash in Hartlepool Town Centre. Um, a crash just over our border. A shocking attack caught on CCTV. You better let you have smashed up their car and the house. Oh, right, so this time you're under arrest. And a high up hideaway brings the house down. Get up! Whoa, excuse me! 